Hi everyone, Russell here. Today I'm gonna walk through setting up and getting the most out of your OneNote class notebook in Microsoft Teams. OneNote in Teams acts like a physical notebook, a whiteboard, and a filing cabinet all in one place. And once you've created a class team, your class notebook is already built in. If you need help creating or joining a team in Microsoft Teams, I left a link to a video that'll help you do that below. And if you have any questions throughout this video, connect with us on Facebook and on Twitter. Okay, let's get started. Here I am in Teams. Here's my newly created class. I'm presented with two options here. I can upload class materials or I can set up my class notebook. I'm gonna set up a class notebook, which takes me to the class notebook tab. I can either create a class notebook from an existing notebook or I can start with a blank notebook. Let's start from scratch on this one. The setup starts with an overview of what's included in your notebook. There are four primary sections. The collaboration space, which is where students can work on projects together with teacher direction. The content library is used to publish source materials like student handouts or homework. The teacher only section is a private space for you to work from and student notebooks. This is a space automatically created for each student in this class that only the student themselves can access. It allows me to provide private feedback and grading on assignments. The first step is to set up and organize your student's individual notebooks. OneNote will suggest a few default sections, but you can remove these or add more if you want. You can add a lab section for a science class, for instance, or a featured article section for a journalism class. This is a photography class, so let's include a My Portfolio section, where the students will be able to showcase their best work. All right, let's create this thing. OneNote is now confirming the permissions and settings on the back end. It may take a moment. I'll include a link below that'll show you how you can customize your class notebook settings. When class notebook is finally ready, you can start using it with your class right away. You'll first land on the welcome page, which is a super helpful guide to getting the most out of OneNote. You're gonna wanna read through this content. I'm gonna go over and click on this notebook icon and access the navigation space. We're currently in the welcome section and you can see there's the page we landed on and another frequently asked questions page to use as a resource. Here's the collaboration space, including the getting started guide. Here's the content library. Here's the teacher only section. And here is the individual student notebooks organized just how we decided during the setup. You'll see the my portfolio section in each of their binders. All right, let's hop over to a notebook that's been built out a bit. So I'm using the collaboration space as a place for groups to work together, and I'm also using it to manage checkout for our photography equipment. Since it's in the collaboration space, students can come in and fill out this form when they've checked out equipment and delete their name once the equipment has been returned. Hopping down to the content library, I've got a section for handouts, quizzes, and photography assignments. Using assignments in Teams, I can actually assign these pages themselves to my students. There's a link to a video that will walk you through that process below. And just to show you an example, here is a quiz on low key photography using Microsoft Forms. And here's the teacher only section. I'm using it for planning purposes, parent communication, and logging notes during meetings. Here's some notes from a yearbook leadership team meeting. And again, here are the student notebook sections we talked about before. OneNote Class Notebook is a powerful organizational tool. It allows you to personalize teaching with its ability to give private feedback. And it's digital, so you can include rich multimedia content like GIFs and stickers and images and even video. We've been seeing a lot of questions about where to even start with OneNote. Charlie is new to the world of teaching and she's wondering how to start with OneNote. You are not alone, Charlie. I'll link to some courses that'll show you how to take advantage of OneNote as a planning tool. There's also some great information on using the accessibility and inclusivity features built into OneNote. Good luck, Charlie. That's all for today. Do me a favor, be bold and keep learning.